morning. Welcome to Vlogmas day five. It is so early, but I am up and I'm gonna finish editing yesterday's vlog. It's so dark in my apartment right now that I'm not even gonna try to actually start this vlog until the sun comes up. I at least wanted to say hi. Bad news for you. It's raining. I know you guys honestly don't really like these either, but it's this or get wet. I don't know what to tell you. I do not feel like getting dressed yet, so I'm just gonna put sweatpants on over my pajamas. It's called fashion, okay? Just like, I'm not ready to get dressed yet, and it's pouring rain out. I feel like this is the most logical thing to do. Back in my robe and I just decided that I'm gonna tint my brows. I've been doing this for a long, long time. If you watch my videos and you've seen me do it before, my eyebrows are actually pretty blonde, so I dye them darker. And I do it every couple of weeks or whenever I notice they are looking a little light. Because I wash my face, the tint fades faster, so I do it fairly often, and I just like the way it looks. Eyebrow dye is on. I'm gonna leave it sit for eight minutes. Also, I feel like my little spot that Maria injected yesterday with cortisone is actually better. I'm gonna wait till it's completely flat and gone down. And then I'm gonna use Mighty Patch Micro Point for dark spots. I've used these before and they are amazing. It's helped lighten up some other spots that I had that left some discoloration on my skin. So I'm gonna use these. Also, I got some deliveries if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Amazon and Zara, which I'll show you when we open that in a minute. I also got an eyelash tinting kit. This is something I've never attempted to do at home, but I figure if I can do my brows at home, why not tint my lashes? Saw all of your comments about the lash line discoloration from the lash serum. And I just, yeah, I don't think I wanna do that. I don't like the way it looks. I feel like it makes me look more tired. I already deal with darkness around my eyes and I don't want to add to it. So I think I'm gonna stop using that for the time being. And I actually do have pretty long lashes. They're just light colored. So I'm thinking maybe if I tint them, they'll look a little longer and I won't feel the need to use that lash serum. But first, before I do that, I need to make some avocado toast because I'm hungry. By the way, here are my brows finished. I decided to not dye my lashes right this second because on the box it says you shouldn't get your lashes wet for 24 hours and I'm meeting up with my friend Julia in a little bit and I wanted to put on some makeup so that would not work. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it later or tomorrow or the next time I have like a full day where I'm not gonna get my lashes wet. Okay, let's open it. Day five. You wait. Wait. Okay, good girls, get him. Go on, Ben. Come on. Good girl. There you go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> no, guys, that's all. No more. That's it. <laughs> They're like staring at me like, okay, we're ready for another one. By the way, I was looking through some of your comments from yesterday's video, and I love you guys so much. 
You guys are so sweet. You made me feel a lot more confident, I guess you could say, about just regular life content. And I feel like knowing that just helps me take off the pressure of having it be some big production every single vlog. So thank you, because I was really stressing out about that. Okay, day five. Sadly, it is not decaf, but I will just start kind of stashing these away to drink during the day because we're gonna drink the other one today. Sencha, I don't even wanna say that. I can't pronounce it and I don't wanna offend anyone. Uh, so I'm just not even gonna try it, but it's a green tea blend. We'll save the one from today for another day and drink the one from yesterday. Wow, this one smells so good, just even opening the package. Going to let it steep for a little bit. And I think we should open some Zara packages. All one order, but it came in three boxes. <laughs> and I'm assuming that's because I ordered a couple of jackets. I don't know that I'm gonna keep all of the jackets that I ordered, but I ordered a couple of options to try. Oh, interesting. I don't know that I love the black strap on that. See, that's why I ordered two different ones. I wasn't sure. Although I have to try it on, but I'm pretty sure I like this one. A little sweatsuit is cute too. Essentially, I ordered three jackets, two sweatsuits, and another beanie. I'm gonna try it on and then I'll show you. I have the first sweatsuit on, but I wanna try the tea. If it's not too hot. Whoa, that is so good. Yum. Okay, you know what? I'm glad that we did the tea advent calendar. I almost didn't continue on with it and I was like, maybe I just shouldn't even open it. Maybe I'll return it, but I'm glad I did because I really love this tea. This is so good. Okay, I think like one or two vlogs ago, I mentioned that I wanted to get a few more sweat sets to layer over my workout clothes when I walk the dogs in the morning or even when I'm going to a workout because it's cold out and my little leggings are not thick enough. And so that's why I got two more sweatsuits. I know I wear sweatsuits all the time, but it's like one of my favorite. <laughs> articles of clothing is a matching sweatsuit. Plus this one matches the puffer jacket that I also got from Zara. And I have a beanie that matches this too. Let me grab that. Ta-da! It's not the exact same color, but it's a very similar tone. And I'm really into that look right now. I think that's pretty cute, you know? Joggers are definitely oversized. And I don't know if you wear them. Yeah, I think they're high-waisted. I like my sweatshirts and sweatpants oversized though. So I, I really like this though, a lot. This is really, really cute. I have another faux leather jacket that's black that I've had for quite a while, but this one is kind of like a grayish brown color. How would you even describe this? I don't know. This is a size medium. I thought that this could also be cute layered over. Yeah, I'm into it. Um, that's really cute though. Like it a lot. Pretty sure I got a medium in the sweatshirt and a medium in the sweatpants as well. And then the other sweatsuit I got is the same exact style. It's just in this cream color. And I got this cream beanie to go with it, which is fabulous. Now I want to put some jeans on so I can try these two fluffy brown jackets. Hold please. Also, I know I said I'm showing you stuff from Zara, but I recently got these little ribbed bra tanks from Victoria's Secret Pink and I love them. There's like a little shelf bra in them. I got a black one and a white one. Absolutely obsessed. It's like racer back in the back. Very cute. Although I don't know that it totally goes with this tank, but very, very cute. I need to figure out how to style this jacket. I got the jacket in a medium. Um, no. I don't like this one. This is too stiff. <laughs> what is wrong with me? So weird. Uh, yeah, no, this one's going back. But I do like that one. And I think that that was a score. Now, I will do my best to link things below, but Zara is sometimes hard because it's just hard. I don't know, they really do make it hard on us on Zara. Like, have you seen some of the ways that they <laughs> showcase the products? I'm like, I can't even see the dress. The models are like trying to show you the tank top and they're like, like, how am I supposed to see what that tank top looks like? Just show me, just be normal. Just be normal. <laughs> anyway, so I will uh, try to link things below from Zara if I can. If not, you know what I always do? If someone doesn't link something, I type in a description of it into Google and typically it will pop up. Just saying. I actually do need to get dressed for real right now because I'm meeting up with my friend Julia and we are gonna go to a sports bar today. I guess there are some sporty things happening. I wouldn't know. I 
do not dislike sports, but I am not, you know, a sporty girl on my own. It's actually kind of funny. This guy I dated one time told one of my friends that he wished that I was more into sports. And I'm like, sir, <laughs> my dad didn't raise me. And I've never had like a healthy relationship with a man. So I know that sports are not only for women, but I'm like, I have had no men in my life to, to get me into sports. Maybe I would be into sports if I had a positive male figure in my life. Anyway, so on that note, Julia and I are going to immerse ourselves in sports because A, I do want to know more about sports and I guess I don't have to wait around for a man to show me. Girl power. But also, you know, Julia and I are both single and I'm kind of sick of the dating apps and I figured that might be a great place to meet someone organically. It's like, I'm gonna be hanging out with my girlfriend anyways and we're gonna be catching up and we're gonna go somewhere where there's food so we can kind of enjoy each other's company. But also shout out to my mom for this idea to go somewhere where there might be a single guy hanging out, you know, the one for the both of us. So that's a new plan because her and I are both sick and tired of these dating apps. And you know, it's like, if I'm gonna take a break from dating apps and I wanna be proactive in other ways and at least put myself in situations where I might meet somebody. So that's what her and I are doing today. So I need to get ready. All right, I don't love my outfit, but it is raining out and I'm out of time. So we're just gonna have to go with it. <laughs> I'm wearing the new Zara crop sweatshirt, my old faux leather jacket, little black beanie. And then I have my chunky black boots on and my Sphinx leggings on because the jeans that I wanna wear will drag in the water and that's not a vibe. <laughs> I feel like my bedroom and my closet more specifically is in absolute disarray, but we're gonna have to deal with that tomorrow. I think I need to do, like I said a couple of days ago, a purge, a reorganization. Maybe I'll do like a little reset tomorrow because things are just feeling like all over the place. That's the problem with small spaces. But we're not gonna think about that right now. Right now, we're gonna go meet Julia. with almost like a sports bra, but not quite top. And I got some gloves finally. <laughs> are you are you proud of me? I'm proud of me. I just got like the cheapy pairs. I need to get an actual pair of gloves, but these will do for now. I just put my gloves on, which is probably not gonna be anything that exciting. More Nespresso pods, <laughs> vegan Parmesan, very uneventful. <laughs> the sports bra was really fine. Wow, sponges like extremely uneventful. <laughs> the most boring Amazon order ever. The sports bar was really fun though. We didn't meet any eligible suitors for either one of us, but we did meet some really nice guys that were definitely like super friendly and cool. Um, they were there with, I'm pretty sure it was girlfriends, but it was great. They were just like super friendly and cool and nice to talk to. And that was fun. The game was really fun. It was the soccer game. It was Australia playing and I believe Argentina, if I recall correctly. It was just a really good game. I had so much fun watching it. Who knew? I'm like a sports girly. I fully enjoyed watching the game. So maybe I'll make that a regular thing. And then we went to 12 chairs for dinner after, which I always love. Hi. So I don't know if you guys remember a couple months back. Is this for real? 
A couple months back, I partnered with Princess Polly on a summer try-on haul. And one of the dresses I got in that haul was a green, like, slinky wrap dress. And I love that dress so much that I bought it in black and red. <laughs> Why are you so nosy? Also got a trench coat. Oh, it's not quite the material I thought it was. I thought it was like rain proof material. I mean, this is really so cute, but I need something that's waterproof. And this is not that. Again, I'm not gonna try it on right now, but it comes with like this little belted. Well, I'm doing a terrible job at showing you. I'm basically showing you this dress like Zara photographs their clothes on their website. This is so unhelpful. <laughs> I'm just gonna insert a picture of me wearing the green dress so you can see how it fits because this is not helpful at all. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do now is take the dogs out for a walk and then shower make my magnesium drink and then probably just go to bed. I know it's pretty early on Saturday night, but it's a rainy day out and I'm honestly tired. I also like really want to listen to some more of this podcast that I've been listening to that I am obsessed Talking. with. I think she's a little bit. It's called Something Was Wrong. And if you're into true crime or kind of like twisted stories, then you'll really like that podcast. There's some really crazy stories that they tell on that podcast. There's like a couple seasons that I didn't totally care for, but this latest season is great. I think that it was, didn't even witness it. I just knew. What I'm going to attempt to tint my lashes. I'm not gonna give you a whole tutorial because I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I will reveal the lashes tomorrow. 